Hello there, I'm Coach Marvin from Marv's Practical Smart Tennis and I'm GPTCA Global Professional Tennis Coach Association International Coach and if you want to verify that I'm going to put the link on the description box below on this video and on today's topic I'm going to talk about capital B R U S H I N G brushing brushing so it sounds funny to me it's because these uh, words and or uh, praise it's so overused when someone is uh, playing inside the court and uh, they, keep, they keep saying more brush brush up more brush uh, when in fact brushing doesn't work at all and i'm going to show that to you why using the wall here we go i need a ball I hope you see that if you notice I'm far away from the camera I have to get close to the wall it's because when you keep brushing the ball uh, the next ball you have to uh, track it down so it's so short there uh, therefore there is no uh, uh, there is no range there is no pace there's no length on your shot uh, uh, you have to get closer to track down the, the next ball and uh, there's no uh, perfectness, correctness and accuracy of the shot so I'm not really uh, recommending uh, uh, doing brushing uh, if you do, if you are a recreational player actually you are doing uh, uh, more of that uh, or so much of that at the moment and uh, if you cannot see my point uh, at the moment uh, it's because I, I cannot let somebody uh, interact it's still locked down we're not allowed to do that and uh, using the wall it's not really obvious uh, what I'm really uh, pointing out it's because when I hit with the wall it just goes straight and uh, no one go uh, can uh, throw me a ball different direction uh, different speed uh, of the shot you know when you're playing with the wall it's different you you are only uh, handling one one speed uh, a certain speed a certain bounce but when you play in a real match uh, no balls arrive the same as another no shots is identical therefore the, the speed are each time the speed of the ball is different and the length, the uh, the direction is different. Uh, for sure, if you are, uh, if you if you keep brushing the ball, uh, it's not gonna work. Uh, and as you keep doing that, uh, you will not improve to the next level. And like I said, uh, if you are, uh, uh, you know, you're not competing, and uh, your level is uh, 3.0 down on the. Uh, national rating uh, you might not relate to this but for sure for those who's competitive they, they can re relate to this even if I'm using just the wall and uh, okay for you to better see it I'm going to use my natural uh, uh, way of hitting uh, without uh, brushing it it's just natural amount of drop so I'm going to do that now I need a ball here we go.
that was very good and if you notice I only use one ball a single ball and that's uh, more than uh, 10 strokes and why I did that more than 10 strokes it's because the accuracy is there so the perfectness is there the correctness is there therefore the length of the shot and my range is there and I don't have to uh, get too close to the wall I just have to wait for the next ball back here uh, it's uh, the range uh, my range is there so I don't have a problem you know tracking the ball going there and that's the difference between the, the two brushing if you keep brushing it I'll uh, show it to you again in, in this direction of camera see if you keep brushing it like this you t uh, you tend to drop a lot or too much so what happens is when you drop it this is without knowing it huh? without knowing it, you drop it too much uh, it's because you are just thinking to to uh, to brush it but without again without knowing it you are dropping it uh, a natural amount uh, then uh, when you make contact to the ball see I drop a lot a natural amount then when I make contact to the ball I use my wrist just to lift the ball over the net then I follow a steep racket back racket path you know like I mentioned to you last time that uh, you know a, a, a mounting inside if you are following that racket path uh, that's not good it will kill the accuracy and uh, don't uh, don't confuse as well the, uh, the the video I uploaded last time which is entitled uh, the, the proper interaction with the ball and the racket at the moment of contact so uh, I'm talking about the uh, uh, the moment of contact while on this video I'm uh, emphasizing uh, brushing and uh, the advantage of uh, again uh, of not uh, you know uh, not brushing it a lot or uh, you just using a small amount of drop see I'm going to show you now this is this is the unit turn racket drop I mean racket back then racket drop see it's a small I hope you see it on camera it's a small drop only very natural amount before I go forward and have uh, a, the point of contact then hold it long enough then uh, compress the ball and roll the ball a small roll only natural amount of roll only at the end then follow through but this happens okay again I have to mention this when you meet the ball with the string uh, you held it long enough then compress then roll at the end uh, roll a small amount only uh, that happens milliseconds only and uh, I hope you uh, see the difference between uh, the two, the brushing and uh, without brushing it. And uh, I cannot, uh, I'm still here on this place. I cannot do uh, it in a normal court. It's not allowed. It's, it's still on lockdown. So next time I'm gonna do a video on this uh, topic so for you to better understand this and uh, let someone play with me make me side to side uh, like earlier I said it looks like you cannot relate to it uh, the, it's because I'm playing with the wall I am only doing a, a, a certain direction then the ball comes back to me in a certain direction only but like I said in a match uh, it's totally a different story why it's because no balls arrive the same as another no shots is identical so uh, for sure you cannot uh, be able to hit the ball over the net 10 times minimum 10 times in a row you will you, lo uh, you will lose uh, the accuracy and the ball might go down to the net uh, uh, maybe in uh, second ball third ball for sure it will not reach 10 balls you, you will miss the ball and the length of your shot is shorter uh, the the range of your shot is shorter there is no power on the ball if you keep brushing it it's like it's a looping shot only because uh, when like uh, like earlier 
I mentioned to you that when you when you are focusing on brushing, you didn't know uh, uh, consciously that you are brushing. Uh, I mean, you are dropping the racket uh, unnatural. Then when you make contact, you follow a steep racket pad, and it causes your uh, accuracy not to be there, and therefore you cannot improve to the next level. So I hope you see. The, uh or you heard the point from me and uh if you are not subscribed yet to my video please do subscribe so i can do more video and uh yes thank you see you soon